Hey, I want to give a product review on the Joy Young Soy Milk Maker. It's, they're not cheap, but you can usually pick one up with free shipping between 80 and 125. And if you drink a lot of soy milk or almond milk or like to be in control of you know what goes in your body, this is a real winner. Uh, the positives is it's a really simple machine. It has three parts. This part, which contains the blades and the coil that heats the milk. This part, which is the pitcher. And the cord, which connects to here and into a standard socket. The possible negative thing, but I figured out it out pretty quick, is how to run it because it's all in kanji. So if you're American or you cannot read these, you might have to try to get the instructions in English, but there's little icons that kind of explain it. And so what I usually do is I put all my dried beans in it. I press the second one because there's your dry bead symbol. And then I press on and it does its thing. So basically, it's really simple. You fill your water up to the line that's designated. And then you just put in a like half a cup of soybeans and then you turn it on and you have hot, delicious soy milk fresh every morning. You can control the quality of your water by putting filtered water in. You can control the quality of your beans by using organic beans. But the cool thing is we turn this into an amazing way to get our protein and amino acids. So what I will put in it to sweeten it instead of honey or sugar is I'll use goji berries or even better yet from Costco, you can get organic dried apples. These are a real winner. They have no sugar, no gloppity gloop and you crush a handful of these and put them in and it's very nicely light and sweetened without the sugar. So you're getting the nutrition from the apples, the fiber without the sugar. Um, and then just be creative. Uh, as you know, like with beans to complete the protein, you have to use rice. So I'll add a handful or two of brown rice or black rice or red rice. Uh, you can use pepitas, which is like the male superfood. That's these the little green pumpkin seeds. You can use organic mung beans or red beans. I like using the organic stuff. Call me crazy, but it just makes me feel safer. So anything that you can put, you know, in, in a dried form, in a dried beans, you can turn into milk. Of course, you also have the your almonds, which are awesome. Uh, any kind of uh, walnuts add great flavor. Now, you have to be careful, though, not to put too much dried material in because then you're going to have soup. Now, if you want hot cereal, that's not a bad thing either. But you got to think of like, you know, I do like a half a handful of this and a half a handful of that. And it is just delicious. You'll get really addicted to having uh, this hot cup of warm cereal every morning, just jam packed with all that nutrition, fiber, uh, all the fatty acids and amino acids. So yeah, I highly recommend these soy milk makers. This is the only one I've ever tried. And we've gone through two of them already, but it's very sturdy. And the blades can actually be sharpened too. It's just like a blender blade. And the cool thing is, this is a really awesome thing. They sell these, it's a Smith & Wesson diamond bit blade sharpener. They're like seven bucks on Amazon or eBay. And with one of these, you can actually get in there and sharpen your blades from time to time and keeps all your knives and scissors sharpened. So. Like I said, it's a simple machine, it's very effective, and really helps with nutrition and a quality of life. Highly recommended.